We have a guest for What Do You Do? It's a simple game. We have to guess this person's occupation, but we have to ask questions to which they have to answer only yes or no. So the guest we have today is Dan. Hi, Dan. Welcome. Hey, good to be with you. We had a focus puller last week. So your job better be like sort of in that realm, like, you know, something strange and interesting. <laughs> well, I'm hoping so. Okay. Zoe, first question. Make it good today. Okay. All right. Dan, do you work with children? Sometimes. I'm going to go straight for the jugular. Here we go. So, Dan, are there any circumstances in your job where you have to remove your top? <laughs> uh, no. No. Cool. Can you bleed on the job? Phew. Yes. Has anybody tried to punch you while doing what you do? Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Do you have to wear a weapon? No. Do you wear uniform? No. Do you work with animals? <laughs> oh, cheapest. No, not not usually. My next one is, uh, did you have to study to do what you do? Yes. All right. Dan, if there's load shedding, can you still do your job? Yes. This is a question I ask here and there, so forgive it, but it is quite appropriate. But could anybody dress up as your occupation to entertain guests at a bachelorette or a bachelor party? <laughs> Yes, definitely. Okay, perfect. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Look, um, you giggled now. <laughs> at any point, does your job cause people to cry out from pain? No. <laughs> <laughs> so Zoe's mind taking anger, over. Anger sometimes. Sorry, Dad. Well, ooh, anger. anger sometimes. Oh, wait, wait. Do you work outside of a club? No. Okay. Oh. Let's go back to the anger. <laughs> Do they anger you or do you anger them? I'll say both. both. Oh, does your occupation have a great dental plan? <laughs> yes, pretty good. Yay! You know, we are nowhere close to figuring we this are out. Clo- no, the dental plan came from the punch. In case somebody landed the punch, then there's a dental plan. Think about that. Can I ask one more question? Go for it. Do you wear... I know you asked uniform question earlier, Wasty, but do you wear protective gear? No. All right. We have a few individuals who have come through and and have listened to our conversation and want to guess. So humor me for a moment. Dan sells Nazis at Islands Primary School with the robots. The only time he gets punched is when he takes too long by the robots and the people is getting frustrated. <laughs> Shame. Either an ESCOM or a telecom employee. Dan, the dentist. Oh, come on, guys. He's a clinical psychologist. That guy's a taxidermist, and his patients are angry when he tries to practice his profession when, while they're still alive. I think Dan is a referee or uh, some sports coach. Dan is a karate master. Okay. Karate master. Okay, what? <laughs> Are any of them so, close, Dan? Yeah. I think at some point in my job, I am a little bit of all of the above. <laughs> I'm dying to know. Yo, what I just want to know how much the Nazis are at Islands Primary Robots. My word. Okay, hold on. Dan. That was my guess. The- <laughs> Here we go. Here's your time to shine. Dan, what do you do? My name is Jordan Hill Lewis, and I am the mayor of the city of Cape Town. Just give me a second. <laughs> Just. <laughs> you... We got bamboozled. Again. Wait. Just... <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Wait. Uh, okay. First first things first. Uh, Pietrus is, is now fired. Um, second. <laughs> second is that. Yo. Mayor, I, would you like to come be our show producer? Yeah, if you if you want to, please come and you know sure. produce the show. Sure. Uh, we have a, we now have a vacancy, so I almost called you Dan again, but then I realised Dan is such an interesting alias, given your job. <laughs> Wait, okay. So, hold on, weren't you at a council meeting today? Yes, I'm still in a council meeting. I just stepped up to do this. How cool! Your Beatrice is not only getting fired, but he's now going to get removed from the province. Gee whiz, man. Okay. Yo. Okay, Jordan, thank you so much for your time today. I'm sorry about some of the questions. Well, not all of them. Absolute him, pleasure. But no, the great fun. I enjoyed it. How do you handle when people try to punch you? Because that was one of my questions. <laughs> fortunately, fortunately I, now, I now have some big burly guys that go around with me that can punch back. Okay. Oh, my word. But, Jordan, thank you very much for being great such pleasure. a great sport today. I really appreciate that. The only thing about my question that I want to go back to is when I asked you if anybody can dress up just like you, 
Yes, when, when if you see my if you see my awesome red gown and my gold chain, that would make a great outfit for a bachelorette or bachelor party. Aitza. <laughs> yeah. Can only imagine you, hey, yeah. coming through the door. And I'm gonna govern this party right now. Come on, let me sh- let me shuffle your cabinet, baby. <laughs> Sorry. Jordan, have a fantastic day. Okay, hold on. Thank you. Get back to council. I'm sorry that uh, Pietro took you out of there. Okay, awesome. I'm on my way. Thank you, guys. Jordan Hill Lewis, the Honorable Mayor of Cape Town. Just what do you do? (laughs) What do you do? Sure. What What a day it is to be alive. Also, if you are looking for a job as a producer of an afternoon drive show, please inquire within. The show that drives you home with the most music. The Flash Drive with Carl Wasty. Only on KFM 94.5.